Hello. Hi there. I'm Danny. I'm Josh. And we're the Buffer Boys. So, Danny, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to learn about buffers. Buffers are solutions containing both acidic and basic components, allowing for careful maintenance of the pH of the solution of interest. Thus, if a significant amount of acid or base is added to the solution, the pH will only slightly increase or decrease. Okay, Danny, so what's the first step when we're trying to make this buffer? So, first of all, we're going to have to weigh out the exact amount of buffer that we need. Um, in this case, we're making a one molar solution. Wait, hold on. What's a one molar solution? So, if you recall, molar is a measure of concentration. It means one mole of solute per liter of solution. In this case, we're using Tris, which has a molar mass of 120.11 grams per mole. So we're going to use 120.11 grams per liter. Yash is now weighing out 120 grams, and notice how he teared the scale, which means set to zero before adding any solid. It is important also to be sure to close the sliding doors to ensure that no what is it, wind or any other draft will make the measurement inaccurate. Okay, Danny, so now I've weighed out my Tris solid, what's the next step? Next, we need to dissolve that solid into solution. So f first, we're going to pour that into a large glass beaker. Be careful to wipe it on the sides to get all, that, all the solids pieces in the weigh boat. Next, you want to add your water. Be careful, use, use a graduated cylinder when measuring out water. It's more accurate than using a beaker. Once all the water has been added, place on top of a magnetic stir bar, stir. Is that going to help it dissolve? It's crucial. You don't want to be standing there with a spoon mixing for an hour. Once the stir bar is in, turn it on to high and then let it go. As previously stated, Maintaining the pH of a buffer is extremely important. You must remove the electrode from the storage solution and rinse it with water. After you've cleaned your pH meter, be sure to make sure it's calibrated. To do that, place the pH meter in buffer with known pH. Make sure you stir and wait for the adjustment to occur. This is a time-consuming process. Once you've finished calibrating, go ahead and check your pH of your solution. We're targeting a pH of 7. To lower the pH, add a strong acid such as HCl. Be sure to stir the solution after each addition of acid or base. If you've added too much acid, Add some sodium hydroxide to bring that pH up. 